Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over the best settings for your Alienware AW3423DWF monitor. Okay, and we're going to optimize this step by step. So first things first, we're going to do is you want to access the OSD menu. So all you need to do is press the joystick button at the back of your monitor to bring up the on-screen display menu. All right. And then what you're going to do is navigate to the preset modes and select creator mode. If you want accurate colors or FPS mode for that gaming performance, or if you want a general use, what you can do is you can set this to standard mode and then the brightness and contrast, you want to set brightness to 75. This will, you know, using usually for daytime use, you set it to 75, or if you are in a dimly lit room, you can reduce this to 50 and contrast. You want to keep it at 75, which will give you an optimal balance. And you also want to enable HDR. If you're using an HDR compatible device, just go to the display settings and enable HDR mode. And you also want to ensure that HDR is also enabled in your operating system. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to use it, right? And for the color settings, you want to go ahead and use custom color mode and then set red to 98, green to 96, and blue to 100. And of course, you want to change gamma to 2.2. This will give you a uh, standard tone mapping. And then also what you want to do is you want to fine tune your display response. So navigate to your game settings and then enable overdrive. Set it to fast for smoother motion. And then what you want to also do is you want to activate a G-Sync or free sync, right? So in the monitor settings, you will be able to enable the various refresh rate. So enable that on the monitor settings. So what this basically does, guys, it it gives you a tier free gaming experience. So if you are using Nvidia, use a G Sync. If you're using AMD, you want to enable a free sync, right? And then what you want to also do, guys, you want to adjust your refresh rate to 165 Hertz through your system's display settings. This will be giving you those fluid visuals. And you also want to use uh, alien effects lighting to match your room setup and also reduce eye strain after tweaking all your settings guys of course you want to exit the menu and you want to save all your settings and it's really that easy and simple guys so i hope this guide provided some value to you if it did consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing to find your solution i'll see you in the next one